What's up YouTube, today I got a brand new video for y'all. Today's video is over from the title. I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Hero 9 Black. This is GoPro's brand new product. Now they're trying to save like plastic to help the environment and they're not making the clear case like they used to on all the other older versions of the GoPro. Now they're giving you an actual case with it and it's a pretty hard case. Um, it could probably really protect your GoPro. And that's actually a pretty good plus about getting the Hero 9. So you don't really have to buy like another case to carry it around and all that stuff. And then I also bought a chesty and then I also got a 128 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Plus micro SD card for the GoPro. Make sure you get the 4K one UHD. If you get an Extreme Plus, it's actually better because it runs faster and it can handle the Hero 9 quality. The Hero 9 features the brand new 5K at 30 frames a second or 4K at 60 frames a second. It's waterproof up to 33 feet or 10 meters. And with the new 20 megapixels, it's capable of taking very good pictures. And you can also live stream at 1080p. GoPro also has a brand new HyperSmooth 3.0 and this is to stabilize your video and just overall make your quality a lot better. So let's just go ahead and open up the box. So GoPro does have a little tab right here that you have to pull off to open up the box. Just go ahead and rip that off. Open up the tab. And pull out your GoPro. So here it is, the GoPro. Like I said, it's a very nice sturdy box. It's not soft or anything like that. It's pretty decent hard shell case. Go ahead and open it up. And inside, we have the GoPro Hero 9 Black. And then we also have the charger. It looks like USB to USB-C charging. It comes with the rounded sticky mount. Mount that on rounded edge or something like that they used to come with the flat surface mounts but now they're coming with the rounded ones it comes with the battery and i have seen that these batteries are a bit a tiny bit bigger than the older batteries like the hero 8 they say that this one is a little bit bigger so if you get the hero 9 and you want spare batteries you're gonna have to buy brand new batteries for it that's kind of inconvenient because it's better if they just keep the same batteries it does have a little bit more space than the battery you guys can see here it's 1,720 milliamps, so that's bigger than the previous batteries, but they also increase the size of the battery. Then we have the mount here, quick release. Thumb screw. Then we have GoPro paperwork here, their subscriptions to GoPro, how to set it up, how to use it, how to charge it, how to take out the battery, how the buttons work and all that stuff. Here's how to, how to mount your GoPro. So now it does have the built-in mounts, so you don't have to get like the case to connect it to the mount. So just pull it out the bottom and it connects to your mount like this one. And it also comes with some pretty cool GoPro stickers, questions and answers for any concerns or anything you have about your GoPro. And then we have the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Let's just go ahead and take it out. Here it is. The brand new GoPro Hero 9 Black. It says 9 black right there. It does feature the brand new LCD screen in the front. So you can see what you're recording. So what usually would be shown here will also be shown here. And you can customize what is also shown here. So for example, you could customize if you want to see like what this whole thing is seen. Or just like the main um, focus of the camera. So you can really get a good angle when you're recording. Let's go ahead and take off this protective cover here. Alright. So let's go ahead and get the GoPro set up. Open up the battery port. Push this out here like that. Lift this up. And there is the battery port. Line up the lines in there. Enter your GoPro battery. Make sure it's all the way in. Close up the cover. Just press and hold the power on button. You guys can hear it beep three times. And there it is. This GoPro. Go ahead and set it up real quick. English, legal stuff, agree. So it also has GPS, so you could capture the location where your videos and photos are taken. We'll go ahead and turn that on. The GoPro app, install the GoPro app on your phone. So go on your phone, download the GoPro app. It's gonna ask you to access your photos. I'm just at, allow it. Access Bluetooth. GoPro would like to find a local network. Okay, first add a camera, searching. We found your GoPro, Hero 9 Black. Connect the camera. It's connecting. Asking to pair. 
parrot. Camera beeped. And it is connecting. So you can name your camera. I'm just going to name it Hero 9 Black. So I guess you do have to update it. So I'm going to go ahead and just update it real quick. In order to update a camera, your battery has to be a little bit more charged. And you have to have the SD card installed. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up this SD card real quick and install it into the camera. So the micro SD goes right here on the side, right next to the battery port. Go ahead and insert it into the micro SD card port. Make sure it clicks in and it should be good. All right guys, so while the GoPro is updated, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the chesty performance chest mount. It is a little bit scratched up because it just open box, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's still gonna get scratched up. Regardless, so it really doesn't even matter. So here's the mount. Pretty hard plastic to be honest. And here's a little softer, but this is this pretty hard plastic right here. So say I had the GoPro on the mount. I'll just put that on there. Click it all the way in, put that down, and there we go. This is actually the way that you mount it onto your chest. So you would take this off, put it on over your shoulders and all that, and you put it back in here, click it in, and then it would be good. So yeah, this is the chesty. Now I'm just gonna wait for the GoPro 2 update. All right guys, so I went ahead and got it all set up. So now it is connected to my app. You guys can see the front display there. Shows my camera and my ring light. Here are the mounts. They just come out with the bottom like that. Let me just show you guys how to mount your camera onto the actual mount here. So you line up the two little mounts here in between these three. Put that like that. Then you take your thumb screw. You just screw it into the right there screw it in and you can change the position of this and then you can put your mount on lift this up go ahead and put that right there let it click push that down so it doesn't um open up again and it's pretty sturdy on there it won't really it won't come off applying a pretty good amount of pressure and then a new thing with the hero 9 is that the the actual lens does come off so you have to use a pretty good amount of pressure and the lens will come off. So just in case you break your lens or you want to add the new max lens, then you can just screw that one off. So let's go into the settings and play with it here a bit. So if you swipe down here, you guys can see we have a couple of different types of settings. So here is the voice control. So you could tell your GoPro to start recording or stop recording and just another, a lot of other features. Here's the sound for the beeps. You can turn it on or off. Here is the quick capture on. So basically, if you turn on your camera, just push this, it will turn on the camera and automatically start recording. Then we have the screen lock, so like you can't touch your screen, so if like there's water, something like that. And then this is the grid, you can see the grid there. And then there is the front screen options. So we have the different options of screen off, so the screen will be off. We have the option of status only, so it will only show the status. And then we have the option of actual screen so we'll show the whole entire screen what the screen is seeing or we have the option of full screen so we'll show just like a zoomed in basically like the middle of the camera view so i'm just gonna i like keeping it on actual screen so i can see the whole thing and then you swipe and then you have connections preferences if you swipe up you'll find your media and stuff like that and then here you have a couple of different options too right on the screen so we have the option to put in four times slow mo we have the option of putting it in boost mode so that basically stabilizes your video a lot but it also zooms in a bit so a lot of people don't like that about this the, the boost mode and then here we have the different angles of the camera on video we have super view which is 60 millimeter which shows a lot of the area wide which is 16 to 34 millimeters so that shows a lot but also just a little bit less we have linear we have narrow and we have linear plus horizon leveling so horizon leveling is basically just like if you turn your camera it will automatically always keep the horizon level so even if you turn your camera the horizon will always stay level with the video you swipe to get a time lapse swipe to get video and swipe to get photo so that's actually pretty easy access to change the mode you're in. Here we have the modes for recording. We have standard, which is set at 1080p at 60 frames a second. We have activity mode, which is at 2.6K at 60 frames a second with super view. And we have cinematic at 4K, 30 frames a second. We have slow mode at 1080p at 240 frames per second. It's pretty easy to use the camera. Just press the button, automatically starts recording. 
I'm gonna show you guys the feature of the so voice control. So say your camera is like kind of far from you and like you, you can't get to it in time. You just go ahead and say GoPro start recording. And you guys can see it automatically just starts recording for you. And then you can say GoPro stop recording. And there it goes, it stops recording for you. And then there's also more features such as GoPro take a photo. And it takes a photo for you. Overall, this is an amazing, amazing product by GoPro, then Hero 9 Black. The last GoPro I had was the GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition, which had the LCD on the back, and I like that. So now with the new 9, it has the LCD in the back and the front, so that's amazing. New product from GoPro. These are also waterproof to 33 feet, and they have the drainage here, so the water can come out, which will make your audio a lot better when you're coming out the water. That is the unboxing and review of the GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.